different companies need different type of facilities to run their operations. For example, a manufacturing company would have factories or plants to manufacture the goods. They would have warehouses or distribution centers to store the goods and they would also need offices to run their supporting functions. In case of service sector, such as courier company, bank, insurance, etc., the offices are their facilities. This picture shows the global presence of a company Larson & Tubro Limited, which is based out of India. As you can see, they have different type of facilities like offices, engineering and construction projects, product and equipment supply, manufacturing or fabrication facilities, and agents. As you can see, they have a few offices in the US, but a lot more offices and other facilities in the Middle East. Now, another important thing to observe is that they don't have any manufacturing or fabrication facilities in the US, but they have a lot in the Middle East. So how does the company decide where to locate its facilities? So let us look at the factors which affect the facility location decisions. The first factor is the proximity to customers or markets. Generally, companies perform market research to identify the geographical regions where their products have a demand. And once they have determined the geographical region where their product has a demand, they can then set up a facility near that area. Setting up a facility closer to the markets reduces the cost of transportation and thereby the cost of the product is also reduced. This in turn gives the company an edge over the other companies having facilities far away. For example, for auto ancillary product manufacturers, the customers are big automobile factories. Pune in India is a base for major automotive factories like Tata Motors, Bajaj Auto Limited, Kinetic Engineering, etc. Hence, the auto ancillary companies who supply parts to these factories have located their facilities in Pune itself in order to gain advantage of proximity to the markets. Also, locating near the markets is particularly important when the final goods are bulky or heavy and the outbound transportation rates are high. Hence, manufacturers of products like plastic pipes, heavy metals, etc. all prefer being closer to their customers. Another advantage of being closer to the markets is that the company can quickly grasp the change in demand patterns. And since they are so close to the markets, their response time to this change in the demand is lesser as compared to the other companies. For example, there are a lot of companies who process fresh fruits. That is, they cut and package them and sell it to these stores. Now, one of the important factors which impacts the sales of these products is rain. So if that day there is rain, the fruits will sell less as compared to other days when there is no rain. And since these products do not have a very long shelf life, they need to be shipped to these stores on a daily basis. So depending on whether it is raining or not, these companies can change the quantity of the product to be produced and can ship it quickly to the stores because they are so close to the markets. This in turn helps them increase their profitability as there is less wastage. Another important factor is the proximity to raw material.
industries which are dependent on bulky perishable or heavy raw material prefer proximity to the supply source in such cases inbound transportation costs become a dominant factor for example in india iron and steel plants are located in bihar and orissa because of the large presence of iron ore mines in these regions raw material therefore becomes cheaper because of low transportation cost and also these companies can control the quality of the raw material better another factor is the good transportation facilities good transportation facilities like rail road water etc help in the movement of material and labor easily so imagine a facility where raw material cannot be transported because there are no roads so this is another factor which affects the facility location decisions another factor is the availability of power supply and other utilities Now one of the basic requirements for most of the industries is an uninterrupted power supply. Imagine that there is a manufacturing facility and somebody is working on producing a material and the electricity goes off. The machines will stop working and if this continues to happen often on then the product quality will be seriously impacted. Other utilities like telephone water are also very important factors in selecting the facility location another important factor is the government policies one of the most important goals of a company is to maximize its profits so if a government of a region has favorable taxation policies and other promotional efforts which help reduce the cost of a company and thereby increase profits then companies will be attracted to that region so many governments promote industrial activities in their region by creating industry development zones or special economic zones for example the governments of karnataka andhra pradesh etc have created software development parks where facilities such as high speed internet is provided to software companies at subsidized rates another important factor is availability of inexpensive skilled and efficient labor This is one of the most important factors in considering facility location especially in the world of globalization for example most of the companies are opening their back offices in india and china because of the high availability of inexpensive and skilled labor another important factor is the quality of life Now what is quality of life so basically people want to live in a place where there are good schools recreational facilities cultural events and an attractive lifestyle and these factors are important to attract quality workforce
for a company. A lot of companies encounter situations where there are other advantages like proximity to customers, good transportation facilities, but not a good quality of life. So what they have started doing is that they have started building these facilities exclusively for their employees. For example, companies like Tata Steel, Indian Oil, etc. have built their own townships equipped with schools, hospitals and other recreational facilities for their employees. Now some of the other factors are low construction costs, availability of cheap land, etc. So these are the various factors which the companies consider before deciding upon location for their facilities. Now an important thing to keep in mind is that not every factor is of equal importance to all the industries. So in subsequent videos we'll see how different companies use these factors in deciding their facility locations.